Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an internet issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer, where it says that not connected, no connections are available. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match, come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, go ahead and type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with Windows IP configuration to successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to go ahead and type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. And then hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Proceed to close out of here and then restart your device. And then once that's done, attempt to access the internet again, and hopefully your issue has been resolved. One further thing we can attempt as well is to do a complete network reset, which will set our network adapters back to default settings. And if you're using a Wi-Fi connection, you're going to have to get your Wi-Fi credentials before you proceed, because if once we're done, you're going to reset your computer, and you will need to enter back in those Wi-Fi credentials if you want to get back online. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So open up the search menu and type in settings. Best result should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select network and internet on the left side. And then on the right side, you want to scroll down and select advanced network settings. And then we're underneath more settings, network reset, reset all network adapters to factory settings. Go ahead and left click on that. So this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. And now you will need to sign and close out of all of your open programs and applications and proceed to restart your device. And hopefully your issue should have been resolved at this point. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.